Hey, how's it going? This is Whitmore Clot Filter from Wits and Media, and today we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to edit photos in DaVinci Resolve. So to start off, we're going to want to open up a new project, and let's go to our media, and let's drop in our image. So um, this is a quick image that I took of um, something that was in my office, put it in a nice place, and this is what we got. It's definitely not the best picture in the world, but it'll do for the example. So let's drop that into our timeline. And from here, we, we want to resize the um, project file. So we know, like, if you want to do Instagram picture, you know, do 1080 by 1080. Um, if you want to do, like, a reel or something, you know, um, 1080 by 1920 or whatever. Like, it depends what you want to do. Um, I'm just going to do, for like, Instagram. So we're going to, you know, I click the gear icon down here and do 1080 by 1080. And so that's what our project settings are gonna be. And let's click save. Now we need to fill this in right. So I'm gonna zoom in. If I zoom in a little bit more, center this in between. And that'll do. Um, just make it however, look however you want. And from however the image wanna look and how you're gonna want it to be on your pro project or whatever. But from there, we just go, can go straight to the color tab. And this is where most of our work is going to be done, is just color correcting this and making it look good. And then after that, we're going to export it and post it to wherever we want to. So we're just going to do a somewhat simple, somewhat advanced. You can do whatever you want. And we'll do a somewhat basic. So we're just going to uh, let's start off with four nodes. So on the first one, I like to pull up my scopes. And right now I have... Four different colors, you may see just red, green, and blue. You can go up here to the settings, and you got RGB, YRGB, and YCR, YCBCR. I usually do YRGB, and so now that I have this pulled up for my scopes, I'm just going to go here to my lift gamma gain and just um, bring down the shadows, bring up some of the highlights. And we're already looking better. Um, if we close our scopes out, we can see that we've already made a huge difference. If you want to ever just see um, how your images look from beginning to start, you can come up here to the top left and click this thing that looks like a circle with like sparkles on it and just click it on and off. And that just basically turns on and off the effects. Skip to my third node. Um, second node, I usually have my first, let's actually label this. I call this like primary A. Then we got primary B, then this will be our HSL, and then maybe, let's say, a vignette. So I'm going to, the primary A is what I use to start off the image, and then I go to HSL, which is our color and saturation, and then do our vignette, and then our primary B is just there to... Um, adjust the image once we've done our effect. So if we need to adjust anymore, so we don't have to go back to the primary, we just on a fresh light. So we're gonna go to our HSL and we're in our curves. I like to just go ahead and skip over to this third tab, hue versus sat, sat, which is um, the saturation. And you have these little dots down here and you can just click on them and you can, all, and you can come up here to the saturation and you can go up or down. So it saturates or desaturates the, um, the color that you chose. So I, I'll push green all the way up because this is um, a plan. I want the green to pop. Um, it's got some red, pink in there. So I'm going to go to this pink one, bring that saturation up. And if I go up and down really fast, you can see in the image how it's affecting. We're going to bring this up just a tad. I mean, not that high. Bring up our red. No. Oh. Yeah, I want some red, but that yellow is a little bit too strong, so I'm going to desaturate the yellow just to... Well, that's actually coming in more as a red, so we're going to turn down our, tone down our red just a bit. And, and that's all we need for now. Um, we can see it on and off. It did make a big difference. Um, like I said, this is an advanced grade. We could go into a lot more, but just for the sake of it, we're just talking about editing videos. So we're going to add a vignette. So... Let's go down here to our library effects and find vignette. I like to start because I use it a lot, so let's throw it on there. And at first, it's going to look horrible just because how it works. So we're going to bring up the size, bring in the, add some softness, 
and just play around with it. You can even change the color. So if we want to do like a purple or something, you know, to uh, like that, you can see how it's affecting. Click OK, and then we can um, put this in there a little bit different and, you know, just play around with it. Uh, I think that looks fine. I'm probably, I think I'm going to go back to black, or I'm just going to tone this down on this slider here. And there we go. So that's our vignette. Um, let's pull up our scopes again. And we can go back to our primary B and adjust it. I think I'm going to bring up the highlights just a tad. And I think everything looks good. Maybe bring down our gamma just a tad. And that's it. So from here, after you're done, there's there's the traditional way of exporting it, which is you go to your timeline and you render out one frame and you go to your um, deliver page and then do a TIFF file and blah, blah, blah. Way too complicated. Um, the easiest way to export images is first open up your gallery up here in the top left. Click on your right click on your image and click grab still. Once you have your still, you can just click on it right here, right click, and click export. Um, this is gonna export to um, wherever you choose, so let's just export it in here. This is just on the camera card. And let's name our file, so let's just say, um, how, oh, goodness, how to render images in DaVinci Resolve. Um, that's our image name, and what you want to do after that, and this is a really important step, is save as type. So right now it's saving as a DPX. We're going to want to scroll down to JPEG. Um, you can do JPEG or PNG, or if you have another file that you want to use, you can select that. Um, I just usually select JPEG. And then export, and that is it. So if we go back to our file here, um, it actually saves the DRX and the JPEG. Um, you can just delete the DRX. It does nothing for you. Um, and then you have your image. And then you can use this to post on whatever social media you want or anything. So I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. Um, I think the biggest reason I wanted to make this video is because of this right here. Just the grab still and export right here because I didn't know about that for a long time. And I would go to the... Um, the edit page and select one frame and then go to the deliver and render a TIFF and usually have to use converter to go back to a JPEG or PNG. It was way too complicated. So I just wanted to spread this out there. I don't, I, there are other videos on YouTube, but I don't see it too much. I mean, not that they're there. I'm sure they're there, but yep, that's the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed and make sure to leave a um, like, um, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.